Hey, what's up? This is Satchel, lead guitar player for Steel Panther, one of the most awesome heavy metal bands known to man. Uh, we're at the NAMM show, and uh, I'm taking over Guitar World TV right now. I'm gonna sh we're just going to walk around and see what happens, see how much pussy we can get. And uh, we're going to explore the musical landscape of the NAMM show. A lot of people want to get in here. See, like th this kid right here, he wants to get into the NAMM show. How are you enjoying the NAMM show today? Are you enjoying it? Yeah. You like it? Thumbs up or thumbs down or like one of these? How's the food? Is it good? Awesome. I like your shirt. Keep it up. That kid's the future of rock and roll right there. Hey, want to take a picture? I'm going to take a picture with him right now. So this is something that your father will regret later when he finds out who I am. Um, we're going to just walk around a little bit. Now, you remember, you have to remember that the NAMM show is, it's massive. It's massive. Now we're going to look, oh, look at this. First thing we run into is, um, this is part of uh, this is part of what's ruining music as we know it. Um, these are just basically uh, drum pads, and they do they have knobs and shit. You can make all kinds of funny noises with this. You can record a whole record. Like, see this girl? She's recording a record on her own. You're doing your own record right here, right? Is that what you're doing? And um, this is the future of music. So basically, we're all doomed. Uh, a lot of kids are actually giving up guitar for this kind of shit. I don't even know what that does. Doesn't even make sounds, I don't think. And uh, here's a really beautiful girl. I don't know what she does, but I'm gonna just give her a hug. That wasn't uncomfortable at all. This is the kind of shit you can do when you wear spandex, kids. Uh, what's your name? Amy. Amy. My name's Satchel. I play lead guitar for Steel Panther. I know. We're... I'm in the show with you tonight. Are you? Oh, she's she's in the show. If you know what that means, that means uh, Amy and I are gonna be meeting backstage <laughs> and discussing what we need to do for the show. And uh, that's the kind of thing that happens when you're in Steel Panther. Amy and I just have a connection now. So Amy, I miss you, I love you. We're just gonna walk around and uh, I'm gonna get back to you though. Tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna see you tonight. Oh, shit. Did you guys see the ass on Amy? She was amazing. Woo! What's up, dude? This guy right here, his name is Joe Lester. I know this guy. This is kind of the shit you run into, you know, Musicians, guys that you've played with, and like we fired him from actually used wait, to be wait, Steel wait Panther. A minute, wait a minute. I fired this guy years ago. You know, I was I like, never dude, got fired, ever. if you want to be in a fucking band, you got to be fucking foxy. I've never but You know fired. what? You're not going to be as foxy as I fired him for somebody foxier. We got Lexi this is Fox. True. I, no, you said I was smarter. I don't want somebody smart. I want somebody that's going to look good. I all right? can count past four, so he didn't want me in the Listen, band. Listen, dude, you can't be in the band again. All right. We're I'll already done. All right. I love you, man. See you, brother. I'll see you a little bit. That's fucking crazy. Okay, this is the kind of shit, you try to, try to avoid that kind of stuff because it was a really uncomfortable thing. Oh, look at we got, uh, we got books and shit. Okay. They've got, this is the kind of shit that you can't make up, all right? They've got all of Hector Laveau's original transcriptions from his second record. You can learn how to play Plato de Segunda Mesa all the way through on the guitar and guess what this is all fucking wrong i don't i know this song is completely wrong My, excuse me sir yeah does this belong to you matter of fact it does it says right here please return to satchel steel panther where did you find this the bathroom in new york in the bathroom in new york it's fucking amazing well, uh, you know I've got like fucking four million of these, right? Just take a request, buddy. All right, well, thank, thank you. I don't need that. What I do need is to find some good looking girls. And What's up, baby? How are you? How you been? It's a camera right now, we're filming some shit. Oh, hey, what's up? What's your that? name? Constance. Constance? Yeah, Constance, oh, yeah. That's right, we used to date back in the uh, early Oh my 80s. god, when I walk into it, no, we did it. <laughs> um, she doesn't like to talk about it because we didn't. it didn't end well. Uh, I came home one night, we were living together for about a week and a half, and uh, I came home and this guy is sleeping with her. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? You know? So they've been together ever since, and I'm happy for her. And yeah, I'm happy for you too. Uh, yeah, I moved on to bigger and better things, you know? Now I'm a big rock star, and she's kind of jealous of me. And he's following me around and shit. <laughs> you know, I'm making hundreds of dollars a month, and she's like, "Hey, maybe we can get back together." Can you pay me that it's not money gonna happen. Me? We're done, baby. Okay, you had your chance. Okay. <laughs> Satchel. 
I used to date her too. There's girls all over this place that I used to date. And then she dumped me for Jeff Pilsen from Dawkin. Remember yeah. De Jeff Pilsen from Dawkin? She dumped me for that guy. Okay. Okay, but Jeff Pilsen's got a really not big cock. Can I say cock on here? <laughs> George Lynch does not have a very big cock. His Jeff, on the other hand, his is like five inches. It's huge. 